Hi, today I'll be talking about this package, PNMA, which is shorthand for Bayesian Network Material Analysis using JAX. My name is Michael Saw. I have been working on this uh, project with Professor Chris Schmidt from Brown, and I'm currently a PhD student in the University of Bern, Switzerland. Uh, recently, there has been many packages of Bayesian NMA in R, uh, including GMTC, PCNet, Meta, BoxNet, BNMA, and MultiNMA. The goal of this presentation is not to compare different packages, but to go over the package we have developed. Uh, BNMA implements model, this models described in NICE uh, document. Uh, this document provides detailed description of the Bayesian NMA model. Uh, BNMA can model uh, normal, binomial, uh, and multinomial outcomes. Our required input includes outcome, study indicator, treatment indicator, and total number of observations or standard error. Based on the specified input, BNMA creates JAX code and initial values and automatically runs Bayesian NMA model. We will demonstrate this package using the smoking cessation data set. Uh, this consists of 24 studies, uh, including uh, comparing four smoking cessation counseling programs. This is the first five studies of the smoking data set. And uh, we will briefly go over the Bayesian NMA model. Since our data set is binomial, we fit a binomial model. And uh, I refers to the trial, arm, K refers to the arm. Uh, the link function is eta i plus delta i 1k. Eta i are the trial specific baselines and delta i 1k are the trial specific treatment effects. For a random effect, we can uh, model the delta i 1k uh, with a normal distribution with average treatment effect D and heterogeneity parameter sigma squared. Um, um, MA requires consistency equations to hold, and, uh, and the equal variances are commonly assumed. Uh, so this model can be fitted using BNMA package uh, as follows. Uh, we first set up the model using a function called network.data, and we specify the input, response, and type. Then we can run the model using a function network.run. Then we, summar we can summarize the result using the summary function. And this is the, the summary we get. So the odds ratio for treatment for the group counseling was is 3.01. So the model estimates a 200% increase in the odds of uh, quitting smoking for group counseling compared to no intervention. Uh, there are some pre-built uh, summary visualization uh, functions. And this is uh, for this is the fourth spot. Um, additional uh, details that we have included includes uh, checking convergence. So even if the user didn't specify the initial values, uh, we generate the dispersed initial values. And then we use the uh, gelman rubin diagnostics to test convergence of parameters, such as uh, the eta i, the baseline risk, the average treatment effect, d, and the heterogeneity. Uh, we check convergence every set size iteration. And uh, once the samples are converged, it, it keeps the last half of the converged sequence. If the user uh, requires more sample size, you can uh, specify through uh, the parameter called n.1. So that was a basic NMA model. We have extended this basic model to, for instance, uh, have a different assumption on baseline risk. Uh, instead of having baseline risk to be independent, we can assume it to have be exchangeable. And so we model the baseline risk using a normal distribution with a common mean and between study variance, E and sigma E squared. Uh, that this extra assumption of random intercept should lead to a greater precision. However, this comes at the price of using the between study information, meaning the treatment effects are are no longer uh, estimated only by the usual differences within studies, but also by the differences between studies. Uh, we can fit, fit this model using um, by adding a um, parameter baseline that risk and setting it setting it to equal exchangeable. Uh, this is a summary result for fitting this model. Uh, now the common mean for the baseline risk is estimated to be minus two point four four nine one two. 
which is equivalent to a baseline probability of quitting of 0.076. So another model that we have added is uh, we can use baseline risk as a meta regression, uh, similar to how we include the uh, covariate, covariate information. So by adding uh, this uh, baseline risk as meta regression, we can uh, explain possible source of heterogeneity. There are three different assumptions we can make. There's common, exchangeable, and independent. And if you, if the user wants to assume a common uh, effect, treatment and covariate interaction, then the user can just simply add uh, this uh, parameter baseline equal to, and set it equal to common, and it will fit this model. So the summary, this is the summary of the result. And now we have a new parameter BBL, which is the regressor for the baseline risk uh, regression coefficient. So now the, the interpretation for the odds ratio, uh, which is 3.17, is now the treatment effects of the group counseling for patients with a baseline probability of quitting of 0.06. Uh, to summarize, we quickly showed how to fit uh, simple Bayesian NMA using smoking data set uh, with the BNMA package. We demonstrated how to incorporate baseline risk uh, via an exchangeable assumption or a meta regression. And the following slide is uploaded in my private website, mikej at seo.github.io. And here are the references. Thank you.